Hi guys, this is Rachel from the Grandview Library again, and right now I'm going to take you through how to check out those ebooks and e audio books on your computer. After this, we'll do another sh short tutorial on how to check them out and read them on your device. But for right now, we'll just look at how to do it on your computer. So you're going to go back to ghpl.org, just our Grandview Library website, and you're going to go back down to this purple toolbar and go to Digital Collections. And then you're going to scroll down just a little bit till you see this digital downloads, ebooks, and e audiobooks. And you're just going to click on that very first link for digital downloads. And this page is the home page. This is what you're going to see. Um, if you have never used this before, you are going to need to uh, sign in with your library card. And so the sign in is over here. I'm going to go ahead and click on sign in. Okay, and it wants to know what library you're at. Now, mine automatically knows that I'm at Grandview Heights Public Library because I've used this before, but you will probably have to select this from a list. And then once you do, you're just going to put in your whole library barcode. So that's that really long number that starts with 2187, and you're going to type the whole thing in. And then you're going to put in your four digit pin number, okay? So if you don't know that, check with mom and dad because chances are they're the ones that created that four digit pin number. Okay, then you're gonna hit sign in. <laughs> Unless you accidentally miss a zero. <laughs> Sorry guys, that is a lot of numbers to type in. Let's try this again. Ah, there we go. So once you have typed in your entire library barcode correctly, it will pull you back into that exact same page, but now you'll be signed in to your account. So now if you search any books um, or find anything you want to check out, you can go ahead and do that instead of having to sign in later. So there's a couple of different ways you can do this. One is if you already know what book you're looking for. Um, and so when we were looking at those recommended reads, uh, Anne of Green Gables came up in historical fiction. So I'm going to use that as an example. So you go to your search button right here and click it. And then just type the title. Oh, and it's coming right up, Anne of Green Gables. And this will show you everything that they have that is Anne of Green Gables related. So. You'll notice on some of these books that there's a little button that says borrow. That means that these books are available right now. Some of them are not available right now because someone else has them checked out. And that is where you will see this place a hold. Now a hold is just like a library hold. We can't really um, tell how long it's going to last, uh, you know, because people turn in books at different, uh, different points, but um, it does give you an estimate, but it could be two weeks, it could be four weeks, it could be eight weeks. So this might not be a function that you wanna use unless it's something that you really, really, really wanna read and you don't care when you get it. But if you want to just look at things that are available right now and not bother seeing anything that isn't ready to check out this minute, then you can go to over on the left-hand side where it says availability, available now and click that button. And when you do that, you're going to see the Anne of Green Gables stuff that is available right now. So no putting on holds, any of this, you can just borrow right away. So I'm gonna show you guys how to borrow one of these books. So it's pretty simple, you just go, so I'm gonna uh, do the ebook of Anne of Green Gables and I'm gonna hit borrow. Okay, it's gonna just ask me, yeah, you sure you wanna borrow this? And I do for 21 days. 21 days is the loan period for eBooks and e-audiobooks. Um, you can make it shorter if you want, you can't extend it, however. So you can hit borrow. And then that book is available for you, okay? So if you're just gonna stay and read on your computer, you can hit read more in browser, read now in browser. And the book is just going to come right up. So this is the book and you will turn the pages and start your reading. Okay. So the audiobooks pretty much work exactly the same way. I'm going to 
flip back to where we were before. If I wanted to borrow an audiobook, I would just hit borrow. I'm going to get that same notification and choose borrow. And I'm going to hit listen now in browser. Okay, so it's going to come up with a screen like this. You will press play. And, of green and there it goes, it starts. Okay. So that is how you can borrow something if you know specifically what it is you're looking for. But if you just want to browse, I can show you how to do that. We will go over here to, here we go, subjects. Look at all of those subjects. And I'm sorry if I didn't tell you, this is that very left-hand side where it says subjects. And they have a ton of subjects on the digital downloads. You guys are going to scroll down past the fiction, past the nonfiction, all the way to the juvenile fiction. So they have all of these different categories for juvenile fiction. So say, I'm just gonna stick with historical fiction. Say I want a historical fiction book, but I'm not sure what. Well, you can go ahead and click on historical fiction and you can do the exact same thing we did before if you wanna see just what is available right now. Underneath availability, hit available now. And it's thinking, thinking hard. Okay, there we go. So it's gonna show you 415 results that are available right now, okay? So no wait at all, you just click on it and check it out. So don't tell me you can't find anything to read because there's a ton of stuff on here that is available to read right at this very minute. So you can browse, you can borrow, um, and uh, I think I'm going to wrap this up now and we will move on to how to access this and do this on your device. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.